Hi there, this is Hans Forschner with Napcon Engineering. I want to do a quick introduction in entering uh, roof shapes uh, in the sound plan version 8 sound plan editor for the industrial building. And uh, the roof shapes are considered as part of the particle model. So if you have saddle roofs or if you have uh, a shed roof uh, where the roof line is basically changing um, every so many feet uh, with angled surfaces, uh, you can consider that. Uh, also, if you have uh, like a building with uh, different elevations, uh, so like in a, a cogen or like a power plant where you have a main building and then uh, basically side buildings that have lower elevation, uh, those are objects or, or building uh, structures that you can enter here in uh, the sound plan uh, version 8 software. So let me open up the geodatabase and uh, give you a quick overview of all the different roof types that you can uh, potentially have, uh, or some of them. So we have view, go 3D map, and here are some of these roof types, and there is many, many more that you can generate. So the software is relatively flexible on that. The only requirement is that the input has to have rectangular angles, so all facades have to be uh, somewhat rectangular. So let me maybe get started with a building uh, that has two flat roofs, uh, maybe an L-shaped where you have two flat roofs uh, with different elevations. So let me get started. Uh, I enter the first point. I make this a uh, building that is 80 meters in height, uh, or let's say make it 12 meters in height, and uh, I'll go down here, over here. All right, so as you can see this is uh, a building that is definitely not rectangular, and so one of the things you will see on the building and roof, down here you see no roof form is selectable, not all facades are right angle. So this is uh, just, if you see this, it uh, just means it's not rectangular. So you have to post-process your input. And sometimes it really looks like it's rectangular, but there's some a couple of degrees off on one of the facades and it just will not work. So what you need to do is you need to select it. You go to Geo Tools, More Geometry Tools, and calculate the right angles. So here is the right angles. I can um, take this and rotate that. All right, so that's going to be more. Okay. And I open this up. And here, uh, I guess it already created some child elements. So we just uh, delete any elements that it may have created. So now we have uh, this L shaped building. So what I want to do is I want to, uh, let's say, I want to have a flat roof over this entire section here. So that could be, for example, in a uh, power plant arrangement that could be a cogen uh, HRSG in this area, and the, uh, maybe a turbine in this area, and then maybe some other turbines, a uh, steam turbine in this section here. So what I'll do is I'll select flat roof, and we'll select it for this entire section here. So this will be uh, this, this section that will be a little bit higher. So we'll make this uh, maybe uh, 12 meters higher and lift it up. So now we have this section. And of course, this is a little bit proportions are not quite right, but still you get the idea. And then we'll make the second um, and we make that maybe a four meters higher. All right. So now we have two flat sections. And um, if we go into the editor, we can see each of the facades. So facade one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then of course the two roof sections. So this is the, the roof um, right here. That's the, the long roof section. And then here we have the shorter roof that is on the lower range. Now, if you to for example, if you had a situation for a um, uh, cogen plant or power plant, uh, most of these uh, surfaces, interior surfaces, would be absorptive. So you can just define them right here, and then the ground maybe would be your concrete 
and with that you would be all defined with uh, this code implant or interior power plant all right so let me close this so here we have uh, this one uh, building uh, so you could uh, also have other buildings here so let me uh, just make a Another example, in this case, I'll just make it a rectangular building. Uh, make it 20 by, by 12 meters, right? And so here, what I want to do is I want to just go over just the generics uh, for the saddle roof. So you select the roof type, and then you select where is the ridge line? Is it uh, from left to right, or is it from top to bottom? The blue arrows, they define uh, basically from top to bottom how, how the roof line goes from the ridge to the, to the walls. And here we can define how many ridges do we have in here. So in this case, we can define two ridges. And we can say uh, the height of the ridge. Uh, so the default is a tilt angle of 30 and 30 degrees based on the roof ratio of 1 to 1. So here we can say uh, we want the top of the ridge to be 3 meters above the 6 meters. All right. And let's say, let's define this. And so here we have our building. If you don't like it, you can delete it at this point. You can delete the, uh, and uh, start all over again. And uh, let's make it this way. Oh, actually, let's stay on this way. And uh, we can uh, say we have two ridge lines. But I want to have a different ratio. I want to have a 2 to 1 ratio, uh, which means we have a lopsided roof ridges. So here, uh, again, we'll set it up with 3 meters in height. And I'll define, uh, so uh, with the height, it calculates the tilt angles. And then, of course, the tilt angles are in ratio with the roof area ratio. So I define it. And so with that, we have a lopsided roof. All right. I'll delete it again, and then last one is the shed roof. Um, so here, let's make it this way. We make it uh, six ridges, and here again we can define the height. And uh, so here we have uh, the angles, ten to ninety. That's fine. So we have always like the step down at every ridge. Uh, let me make it again. Six. Make it three meters. All right, so here we go. And again, uh, all of the facades of the in inside are basically defined in the editor. So here we have the roof sections. So these are all the roof sections. And then the straight sections would be like these section here. So this is one of the sections right here. So that a lot of times that would be glass, uh, window material. And then you can uh, define that with whatever material properties. And then of course, uh, inside of that, you can add additional material properties. Let's say if you have this as, uh, as your window, um, then, uh, or whatever other absorption that you want to assign to this. That concludes uh, my input here uh, in terms of uh, how to define uh, roof lines uh, or roof objects. And uh, thank you for watching.